If you're vacationing on Bonaire, you're going to get hungry. Would you like to know the top five lunch spots on Bonaire, updated for 2024 and beyond? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video, and we're doing it right now. Hey folks, Kevin here with the updated list of the top five lunch spots on Bonaire, plus the best place to get quick, cheap eats. You may have seen our prior top five lunch spots video, but things on Bonaire have changed. One of the restaurants has moved, one no longer exists, one fell off the list, and we've got some great new additions. First though, if you're new to our channel, my wife Liz and I provide Bonaire and other travel destination tips, tricks, advice, and reviews, all geared towards making your trip easier and more enjoyable. If you haven't already, we'd love to have you join our community and invite you to subscribe to our channel by taking a giant stride onto that subscribe button. Then make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be made aware when we have new content for you to enjoy. But for now, let's dive right in to the top five lunch spots in Bonaire. And make sure you stick with me until the end of the video because I'll tell you where to get the best quick, cheap eats. The food scene on Bonaire has never been better. It truly is a legitimate destination for foodies. Unfortunately, a lot of the attention goes to those dinnertime restaurants, and rightly so because there are a ton of them and they're awesome. But some of the best food on Bonaire, especially local cuisine, is found in restaurants that are typically only open for lunch. So whether you're a diver, snorkeler, kiteboarder, windsurfer, cruise ship passenger, or eco-tourist, make sure you make time for lunch at one of these top five lunch spots on Bonaire. Coming in at number five and still on the list is Between Two Buns. Between Two Buns has moved since our last video. They're now located just a few blocks south of the harbor in the Harbor Village Resort. They're also just one block back from the oceanfront, right behind the dive site, something special. Between Two Buns is the perfect place for a mid-island lunch. Their signature sandwiches, salads, and burgers will have you fueled up for your afternoon activities, while their cakes, pastries, and fresh-baked bread will have you coming back time and again. Their new location offers plenty of eating space, both inside of the restaurant and outside on their covered patio. Between Two Buns is closed on Sundays. Our number four lunch spot is an actual spot, not just a restaurant. In fact, you'll have two great choices when you visit Sorvine Beach at Lock Bay. You may recall Beach Hut from our last video. It was our go-to for lunch several times each visit. Well, Beach Hut changed hands and is now owned by Sebastians who have a great waterfront restaurant in Crawlendike. The new owners have appropriately renamed Beach Hut Sebastians Beach. The fish burgers and reggae music may be gone, and the atmosphere is a little less laid back than Beach Hut, but you'll still find good food prepared and served by a great staff. They've got salads, sandwiches, pizza, and more. One thing that hasn't changed is the incredible view out over Lock Bay. Sebastian's Beach is open seven days a week. If you're looking for an even more casual lunch experience, head next door to the Hangout Beach Bar at Job City. Hangout Beach Bar has an awesome menu of sandwiches, salads, burgers, and chef specials. Like Sebastian's Next Door, you'll have an awesome view out over Lock Bay. Grab a sandwich and a cold beverage and watch the windsurfers as they glide across the water. But don't be surprised when you look at the clock and time has flown by. Hangout Beach Bar is open seven days a week. If you want to put your toes in the sand while eating great food, then make your way towards the airport beaches for our number three spot, Bonaire's Beachfront Food Trucks. First up, located at Tayamo Beach, is Stoked. It's hard to miss Stoked, it's the big red double-decker bus. Stoked offers made-to-order burgers, wraps, and salads. Great food with an even better view. Stoked is open seven days a week. Next up is Kite City Food Truck, one of our favorites. Kite City is also located at Tayama Beach, about 50 yards south of Stoked. Known for using fresh fish, Kite City offers sandwiches, burgers, salads, quesadillas, and more. Bring your appetite because Kite City doesn't skimp on serving sizes. Grab a bite from the kite. You won't be disappointed. Kite City is closed on Sundays. A little further south, located directly across from the end of the runway at Donkey Beach, is Cactus Blue. They may have tasty beef, chicken, veggie burgers, and wraps, but Cactus Blue is world famous for the lionfish burgers. They're awesome. What's also nice about Cactus Blue is that their location has plenty of shade, allowing you to escape the sun while eating lunch overlooking the cerulean blue waters of Bonaire. Cactus Blue is closed on weekends. About a half mile further south, located at Bachelor Beach, is King Kong Burger. Like the name says, if you want a great burger, look no further. 
They've also got hot dogs as well as regular truffle and garlic french fries guaranteed to keep the mosquitoes away. In addition to the great food, the King Kong Burger folks are great people. You'll definitely feel welcome when you stop in for a waterfront lunch. King Kong Burger is closed on Sundays and Mondays. Number two on our list is Makey Snack. Hidden out in the Bonaire and Outback, you'll find Makey Snack. If you want the absolute best goat stew on the island, then Makey Snack is your place. Farms to table might be all the rage, but come to Makey Snack and experience pasture to plate. If goat isn't your thing, then try the chicken, beef, fish, or any of the other great menu items. They really do have some of the best food on the island. You're always told that when you travel, you should eat where the locals eat. Well, on Bonaire, that's Makey Snack. Makey Snack is only open on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Now, Makey Snack isn't easy to find, so we have a video all about how to find Makey Snack. I'll link that right up here as well as pin it to the end of the video so you'll know how to find the restaurant and you can enjoy that great food. Now for the number one spot on our list, Posada Paramira. Perched high on a hill on the outskirts of Rincon is Posada Paramira. If you're diving or touring the northern part of the island and want some of the best local cuisine on Bonaire, then you need to make time for lunch at Posada Paramira. Feast on local stews of chicken, goat, fresh fish, and even iguana, all served with authentic Bonairean side dishes. You'll also find delicious soups and sandwiches. Rivaling the great food are the panoramic views of the interior of the island and the town of Rincon. Posada Paramira is closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All right, I realize that there are days when you're in a hurry or on a tight budget and you just want to get lunch out of the way. You need a little food to fuel your afternoon activities. Well, on those days, why not head over to the best place for quick, cheap eats? And that place is the airport. That's right, the airport. A local restaurateur gave me this tip on my first trip to Bonaire and he was right. The restaurant at the airport is called Techno Bar and it's open to the public. No need to have a scheduled flight. For less than $10 and in under five minutes, you can grab two or three pistachi and a drink. They also have a full menu for their air conditioned dining room, but for me, I'm getting a bag of pistachi and heading on to the next dive site. Techno Bar is open seven days a week. Well folks, that's it. Those are the top five lunch spots on Bonaire plus the best place to get quick, cheap eats. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. What's your favorite lunch spot on Bonaire? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you at the next dive site.